finish up my business. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also were open 24 hours a day. I've got a few minutes to browse. Excellent. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Patch me up, Doc. Go over your symptoms with me. Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. We'll clean you up, don't worry. I've got an itch, Doc. Too many chems. Got anything that can help? We can sober you up. Please, don't be an idiot and go out drinking immediately after the procedure. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? No, we're done. Off you go then. We buy and sell everything it's to everyone, elderly, except since was considered no a sense allowed here. Meaning it was mandatory after work hours. Really? <laughs> That's right. Freak day. The whole family that Perfection had for sale. Bobby. Bobby. There you are. Huh. Was wondering if you were going to show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. What's inside? Caps, meds, food. Enough to keep this city running. It's things we want. Things everyone wants. You get in on this, there's plenty for you. You got it? So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. Tell me about this security office. It's built into some old locker rooms, <laughs> and it smells the pot. This isn't a maximum security prison, and it isn't heavily guarded. No problem for someone like you, right? Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. Mel here. Can I help you? Do you come here often? You know, they always say you'll meet that special someone in the last place you expect. So why are you here? You want something from me, right? I hear you're some kind of tech expert. You heard right. Well, maybe tech is too general. I have a thing for robots. No, not that kind of thing. But I know my way around most machines, yeah. Why? Need my help? No, I'm here to help you. Mm-hmm. You need me for something, don't you? Nobody helps me unless they need something. Um, totally unrelated, but I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. <sighs> a beer in my slippers after this shift. That's all I ask. Doesn't look like it came in with us. Let's just get out of here. Thanks for 
getting me out. So, you're Bobby's new toy. Yep, this year's hottest gift. Get one before they're gone. And what a gift you'd be, God. That woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait like a day? What's the job? You've worked jobs with Bobby before? Enough to know she's not the most trustworthy person around. The team may change, but every job comes with the same set of cryptic instructions as the next. <laughs> yeah, you'd have better luck milking a rabid Yaogwai than getting a straight answer out of Bobby. How'd you like to help break into the Diamond City strong room? Well, damn. That's a big score. Could be enough caps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in the end. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. Got yourself into trouble again, Mel? What can I say? I learned from the best. All right, we're all here. Mel, you want to introduce your little friend? Yep. Meet Sonya. This little bot is going to help us move through the Earth like a mole rat on jet. How is a robot going to help us? She has unique capabilities. She's one of a kind. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can loosen any sediment around. Mel says we'll be able to get to the strong room ten times faster than just digging. And it's a hell of a lot safer than loading this place up with dynamite. All right, guys, get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourselves. Sonya, do your thing. So, what's the deal with the new guy? Oh, I got lucky with this one. Came right up to my door and took the job. He takes orders, and he's useful in a fight. What more could I want? And he's not so bad to look at, either. Maybe we don't burn bridges this time. Mel. If you find anywhere you want Sonya to blast, give me a shot. Good work on the robot. Very helpful. Thanks. You know, iBots like Sonya aren't easy to come by. She just floated right across my path one day, blasting those horrifying old emergency broadcast announcements. Like it was fate or something. 